Hello viewers assalam alaikum this is Maghul Islam is once again in front of you today we will discuss about the question number exercise 15.2 part b page number 118 find a 95% confident interval for population mean the true mean true mean mean are mu population mean of a normal population which has sigma is known and consider a sample of sizes n is equal to 20 by where the mean of x bar is equal to 67.53 now first of all we write the given data the 95% confident in interval for population mean is unknown which has sigma is sigma standard deviation is known sigma is 10 random sample of size sample of size n is equal to 25 and mean is x bar is equal to 67.53 now look here sigma is known but sample size is less than from 30 so we also use z distribution so now 95% confident interval for population mean is x bar plus minus z alpha by 2 sigma divided by n under root that is the confident interval So one by 95 percent is given. 95 percent means they are one minus alpha 95 percent. We can write 0.95. Alpha is equal to one minus 0.95. If we subtract this, we use 0.05. Alpha by two is required, so 0.05 divided by two is equal to 0.025. So here z alpha by two we are finding z z alpha by two if we are finding z alpha by two z alpha by two z zero point zero two five we check this z will use in the table of student t distribution table that is available page number two forty four in this book statistical part two. This table is the last value last value of the row. If if infinity, this value will be available. Z zero point six. This value is available. C in the student T table in the row of infinity. Infinity row. If you check. So this 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 value is available one point nine six. So this is the value of zero point two because z distribution when n approaches it is uh, sufficiently large. So you will get the z distribution. So here we put the values in this formula. X bar is sixty seven point five three plus minus. 1.96 z alpha by 2 we already find sigma is known 10 10 divided by n is equal to 25 under root so now we calculate 67.53 plus minus 1.96 10 divided by 5 25 under root 5 so we get here 2 now first time to multiply here we get 67.53 Plus minus if we multiply three point nine two. First time we subtract this value sixty seven point five three minus three point nine two two sixty seven point five three plus three point nine two. If we calculate this value, sixty-seven point seventy-one point four five, which is the confidence interval, we can write in the form of confidence interval. 
so 71.45 thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Once again, Magbul Islam is in front of you. Today we have discussed, we are going to learn example 15.21 page number 99. A sample of 100 observations from a population known to be non-normal yielded the sample value x bar is equal to 182, x square sample variance is equal to 299. Point in approximate 99% confident interval for the population mean. So, non-normal means here. So, the sample size is sufficiently large. So, it is approximately according to the central limit theorem we are applying. And here, so first of all, we write the given data here. Solution. Sample size. is 100 that is given already 100 observation yielded the sample value sample mean is a already given that 182 and sample variance is given that 299 so point in approximate 95 percent can be in interval so that means that here 1 minus alpha is given that 99 percent so it means that we can write 99 percent divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.99 if we are finding here 1 minus alpha that is 1 minus 0 0.99 so we get here 0 0.01 so if we uh, divide because we are needed the 99 percent can be in interval for population means so z alpha by 2 is required here alpha by 2 is equal to 0 0.01 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.005 we check this value in the table so z alpha by 2 z alpha by 2 is equal to z 0 0.005 we check in the table this value 2.5076 see in the table so now as we know that the 95-99 percent confidence interval for population mean is x bar plus minus z alpha by 2 sigma s divided by n under root here in the question s square is given s square is given s square is 299 so we are taking here s square is 200 s square is 299 so we are required taking square root on both sides the result is given that is equal to what is the result we are using calculator so 17.29 now substitute the values in the given interval equal to 182 plus minus z alpha by 2 we have already found this value this is 2.5076 and s is already known that s is 17.29 divided by n under root n is 100 under root so 182 plus minus 2.5076 17.29 divided by 10 so if we subtract one time subtract and in the first time we are subtracting this value so we will get here 182 plus minus 2.576 and 1.729 divided by 10 so we get the answer is that one now if we first time we subtract 182 plus minus 14 point 
14.46 so it means that 182 minus 4.46 are 182 plus 4.46 we for the first time we are subtract this result so 177.46 or if we find 186.46 so that is the confidence interval we can write in the interval form also 46 less than mu less than 186.46 this is the confidence interval 99% confidence interval for the population mean thank you very much for watching this is very easiest method I have used for every student it can be simplified and clearly understand the example that is given we have done. Thank you very much. Please subscribe my channel.